Stray dog saved from death row, is too excited to leave pilot's side as he flies to new home. Hearing stories of animals who have had rough lives really saddens all of us here at happiest. Woody the Great Pyrenees was one of these creatures. The five-year-old dog had been living as a stray in North Carolina, fending for himself on the streets. Thankfully, the pup was picked up by animal control and brought to a local shelter. But the dog was not in the best state. The Great Pyrenees was covered in mange and fleas and he had heartworm and numerous other medical conditions. To treat Woody would be a very expensive task. The shelter eventually made the hard decision to put him down. However, just before Woody was put down, La Mancha Animal Rescue stepped in. La Mancha is a no-kill rescue that takes in dogs, cats, horses, goats and more. The team at La Mancha was happy to take Woody in, but there was just one issue, they were all the way out in Pennsylvania. La Mancha talked to their friend Paul Stecklency, a former army pilot and the founder of Flying Fur Animal Rescue. Paul started the rescue around three years ago. Since then, he's managed to fly about 1,000 dogs from high-kill shelters to no-kill rescue groups. Once Stecklensky heard of Woody the Great Pyrenees story, he agreed to fly him from North Carolina to Pennsylvania. Paul rearranged all the crates in the back of his plane so he could fit the 84-pound dog and four others into it that were also getting rescued. Woody seemed to enjoy the flight, he placed himself in the space behind the co-pilot seat and enjoyed the view from the window. That's where he stayed for the rest of the flight. It was great, he just wanted to be around us, and that blows me away. Here's this dog, he has all these problems, but he does not care, he just wants to be next to another being. It was wonderful I never expected him to climb forward the way he did. He just wanted to be part of the action. When they landed, La Mancha took Woody to the rescue center and they began to give him all the medical attention that he needed. After just one week, Woody's white coat was fluffy and bright again. 